Last night, the Boise State Broncos posted a statement win, and in his first start ever, true freshman quarterback Brett Rippon made a statement himself. The Rippon era has arrived. Sports director Jay Tust was on the sidelines for that masterpiece. He joins us live from Virginia with more on Rippon. Jay. Yeah, you know, Justin, I'm standing in rain soaked Richmond, Virginia right now. I'll tell you why in a moment, but before we move forward, we have to look back. You know, last night, about 80 miles from here, Boise State picked up their most lopsided victory in school history over a power five opponent, and they did that with a true freshman quarterback. It was about one month ago that Brett Rippon stepped onto the field at the blue and orange fall scrimmage and let a touchdown drive almost immediately against the number one defense of Boise State. After the scrimmage was over, when asked about it, offensive coordinator Eli Drinkwitz almost laughed and said that, well, no moment is really too big for Brett Rippon. Last night on national television, Brett Rippon, Rippon proved it to the rest of college football. I've seen that in him in a, you know, as a very young kid. Leadership. It's a quality that Brett Rippon put on display long before he arrived on campus at Boise State. He likes to lead, and I think that's one of his best traits personally is that he's a he's a very good leader. It's a character trait that was emphasized by his father as a seventh grader and eighth grader and acknowledged by his uncle Mark. I mean, he was totally in tune to, to what was going on. The 1992 Super Bowl MVP of the Washington Redskins. He wanted to do it because he wanted to be the best at what he does. And uh, so he took it to heart on Friday night in his debut as the starting quarterback for Boise State. It didn't take long for Brett's best quality to show up. I mean, he was a, an ultimate leader out there. You, you could tell and being out there as a true freshman, I know our offense is extremely complicated. So see him out there and run it the way he did. It was a, a real, real exciting. Playing over 2,000 miles away from home against a team from the ACC, Rippon passed for 321 yards and three touchdowns. In doing so, he also became the first true freshman in the NCAA to win on the road against a Power 5 opponent this season. I was impressed with his operation. I was impressed with him in the huddle. I was impressed with him after a negative series of coming back, getting on the phone. Uh, he was very focused tonight. Clearly, Brett was prepared for the moment. Just ask his college roommate about his dedication. He, he gets to the meeting room 6 a.m. watching film. He's the last one to leave watching film. So, I mean, it was expected. Or his uncle Mark, who knows a thing or two about success. A lot of things he's doing now is because of who he is, you know, and, and he really takes to heart the mental aspect of this game. Uh, just has a really, really niche for the game of football and uh, a gift. Obviously, one game doesn't make a career. But last night's start is likely the first of many. And considering what Brett was able to display, the Broncos have found someone that is more than capable of leading. Real mature, stepping up in the pocket. I am excited for that position. I am excited that we had some great production out of it, and that's something to build on. A cool moment right there with Brett Rippon and offensive coordinator Eli Drinkwitz leaving the field. After the game, Harson also mentioned that Rippon displayed the top quality he looks for in his quarterback, and that's toughness. Rippon was hit time and time again, but each and every time he went to the turf, he popped right back up, proving that he has that toughness that Harson requests out of his quarterbacks. Coming up tomorrow, our live coverage from Virginia will continue. The uh, World Cycling Championships conclude tomorrow here in Richmond. Today, we spent most of the day with uh, Boise native Kristen Armstrong, who missed out on an automatic bid to Rio this week, but today she confirmed that she's still going to try to get there. It's going to be a long process over the next year, but she's more determined than ever. As I toss it back to Boise, Justin, I don't know if you've told everybody yet, and I don't mean to break the news, but considering this is your last day with us at KTVB, I just wanted to express how grateful I am for having the opportunity to work with you over these last few years. You've been a tremendous utility tool at KTVB, and your presence will be missed in front of the camera, but more so in the newsroom. And Justin Kors' quote board has provided us the laughter and family feel that's so important to KTVB. TVB, so you will be missed greatly, and I promise you, these are the raindrops here in Richmond. They're not <laughs> tears. Wish you the best of luck, buddy. Oh, Jay, you're a sweetheart. Thank you. And coming up in sports, we're talking Idaho Vandals. Really, could the Vandals make it two wins in a row? Will Hall will have the highlights.